word association. Quince Orchard. Destruction. Now this is a championship matchup everybody's been hoping, waiting, wishing for. I would say all year, but truly, bro, the vitriol and anticipation goes back way further. It's a violent game. They play violent, and we play violent. If we're talking legitimate championship contenders in Maryland foray in recent history, <laughs> there's truly only two teams worth mentioning. Coach DeLon Parrish's Waz Pumas winners of four of the last five state titles, three times defeating the Cougars in the big game. Quince Orchard slayed Waz in 2018 en route to raising that trophy, but that wasn't in the actual title game. Last time we played, they got at us a little bit, and before that, we got at them, so. Right now, they one up on us. This year, both teams come in undefeated and for the most part, unchallenged. The Cougars, with that ferocious defense, Husky, Barnes, San Aniola, making up one of the top secondaries in the country. Rick's a man on the interior with Osifiani, Harvey, and Davis, making plays around them. They'll have their toughest challenge yet though, bro. Attempting to slow down this track team that the Pumas put on the field. Danger and Carter Williams, Nick McMillan, Amari Wimbush, and Trey Mitchell and crew able to strike from anywhere on the field at any time. And the Pumas defense, bro. I'm talking Amar Thomas, Kanye, Parker, Rico, Murray, and them boys. Woo! Them boys is dangerous. But though the Cougars still have that powerful offensive line, this year's squad has playmakers everywhere. Howard, Walker, Donovan Brown, and of course the young man Briggs is coming into his own. But there's only one kid who's already led his team to a state final. One young man that's already proven he can make it happen when all the chips are on the tape. The incomparable Jaden Sarre. Two great teams, two great coaches in the matchup we've all been hoping, wishing, waiting for. You ask me who's going to win? Eh, I got Ricardo Report, bruh.